Nancy Tree. Welcome back to my channel and to this What I've Warmed Wednesday. So there is something that <coughs> I am currently warming which isn't in here. Um, <coughs> and I thought I would mention it even though it only went in today. So really it should be next week's. But if I don't mention it now then I will forget because there was no container or package. Because basically my darling little cat decided to jump up while I was sorting a load of stuff out and smashed um, one of my candles so it meant that I've had to decant as best as possible the candle into another container and to do that I had to make it a bit smaller by cutting a bit off the outside which has gone into um, one of my warmers and just go and see if I can find it. Um, so yeah it was one of the candles that I had from Iggy Box and it was the inhale candle so it was peppermint and eucalyptus <coughs> um, that's all it says, peppermint and eucalyptus. And it was it was the one I had from Innis Aroma in the black uh, the amber glass jar. So really unhappy with him. But you know, th these things happen. So that's coming in the utility room and it's really, really nice. So then on to the actual wax melt rather than saved candles. We have oodles of orange. So this is, kids will love this sweet citrusy scent punched up by fresh pineapple, crisp papaya, mango blossom and ripe bunches of tropical berries. And it's a really nice fruity scent. Edging towards like tropical orange scent. But it is a really nice one. Then I've been warming through some Bora Bora Blossom. So this is get lost in a balmy combination of succulent island fruits and lush orchid balanced with a kiss of fresh green violet leaf. And this one, it is really tropical. I wouldn't say it's overly floral because it's got a nice balance of floral and fruity sweet. But I do only have two cubes of that left so that will be in my pile to try and use up this week. Then one of my favourites, well I say that it wasn't one of my favourites when I first had it which is Icicles and Evergreen. So this is Cool Blue Eucalyptus and Pine Needle iced with crystallised sugar. And it is, it is a nice scent, it's got pine, it's got crisp freshness to it. It is on site walking through a pine forest in the depths of winter covered by snow and ice and frost and it's just such a nice one. Even this time of year if you just want something that's kind of like a powerhouse of like fresh clean crispness that's a really good one. Then I warmed, warmed through a bit of Welcome Little One from the um, Catching Mo Moment by Moment collection. So this is soft billowy cotton blossoms and refreshing citrus cradle a whisper of clean mass. Now when I first had it I really didn't get much from it and so as some of them do it went in the cupboard they you know there was one cube gone and I basically forgot about it but as I was like sorting through and splitting the bars that I knew were old bars that were open and wanting to use up. I was like let's let's just shove this in and see how it does. If it's still really poor um, throw because I just found it really weak then do you know what I'll just mix it with something else. But it was really really nice. Really really performed quite well. So I think it just needed to settle and cure a bit. So there was that one. Then I finished off my bar of Disney 50th anniversary iridescent. So this is Paul writing a sparkling mix of natural elements 
From cedarwood and citrus to peony and apple blossom blends Disney things with an added touch of wonder. Now this was one I wasn't keen on when I first had it. It has grown on me. I do keep toying with adding it to my club for another bar, not bothering. Adding it to my club for another bar, not bothering. I don't think I am going to add it to the club for another bar. I think if it got re-released, then yes, I would pick up another bar. But I have so much wax here, I really can do without it. So as it wasn't one that wowed me, and I think if I have to dither that much over it, if I want another bar or not, then I don't need another bar right now. So there was that one. And then lastly, Wildflower Cotton from, I believe it was the Mother's Day collection. So this is Zesty Lemon and Wildflowers Bright and Lime Dried Cotton among Sun Kissed Woods. And this, it was very similar to Sandalwood Tangerine, but unlike Sandalwood Tangerine, for me personally, this performed really, really well. Sandalwood Tangerine, I didn't find it through very well. It was almost like I needed to really shove my nose in the warmer to smell it. But this one, it just really did perform really well for me. And it went for a good few days. In fact, it's only now ready to change in as much as I can't smell it anymore. But yeah, I think this lasted a full three days with this warmer being on 24 seven. And that was only because I'd forgotten to switch off the one day and I was like, do you know what? I'm just gonna let it run its course. So that was a really, really good one. So that's it from what I've warmed this week. I am now apart from, which one was it? Bora Bora Blossom, which I will try and finish up this week because there's only two cubes left. This week I am on my vendor and retail wax mission. So um, yeah, I'm gonna try and I might actually try and stick to vendor wax this week. Um, yeah, I think I might try and stick to vendor wax this week because I am aware that I do have quite a bit of vendor wax that I've had for quite a while. So um, yeah, I don't really want them to lose scent too much. So yeah, that's it for me this week. And um, you know, the weather's not looking too great today, but I do have yoga tonight. So that will be a nice zen hour. And um, yeah, join me next week for another edition of What I've Been Warming. And until then, take care, stay safe, and I will catch you all next week. Bye.